dear viewers i welcome you all to this video in this video i am going to share with you the aims and objectives of education according to education commission 1964 to 1966 the report of the education commission 1964 to 1966 under the chairmanship of dr dolat singh kothari was titled as education and national development the title of the report is indicative of the commission's thinking about the potential of education the commission perceived education as the great enterprise of national reconstruction whose principal objective was to raise the standard of living of people which necessitates development of human resources the country needs educational a revolution which necessarily means relating education to life needs and aspirations of the people which certainly shall go a long way in making it a powerful instrument of social cultural and economic transformation necessary for the realization of our national goals the commission suggested that in order to realize the national goals the following should be the goals of education number first enhancing productivity education must aim at enhancing the level of productivity of individual learners in diverse fields and thereby enhancing the productivity of the entire nation science mathematics and work experiences as compulsory areas of school curriculum and advanced level research in science and technology are some of the means to raise the level of productivity of the manpower However enhancing productivity does not mean increasing production instead it means raising the level of efficiency and work output of workers in any field of human activity number second promoting social and national integration in view of strains and tensions among diverse communities and regions the commission felt that there was urgent need to promote social and national integration in the country the development of national consciousness no doubt is the prerequisite for national development number 3 accelerating modernization education must be geared to accelerate the pace of modernization in the country which is an indicator of social and national progress the advancements in science and technology development of infrastructure and increasing use of technology in di- in different aspects of life are most are important manifestations of modernization but more important is the modernization of attitudes and perceptions that is developing scientific and liberal attitudes number 4 character formation based on social moral and spiritual values national development does not mean only development of infrastructure and advancements in science and technology it also means preparation of citizens of strong character possessing and practicing social moral and spiritual values they need to strike balance between secularism and religion on one hand and between science and spirituality on the other and adopting open mindedness tolerance and objectivity as guiding principles of life that was all uh, regarding the aims and objectives of education according to kothari commission hope that you enjoyed this video the pdf in the text of this uh, video is in the description thanks for watching do like share comment and don't forget to subscribe